Hey guys, it's Mario Fan 520 and before I start this movie review, I just want to say thank you guys so much for 400 subscribers. It really means a lot to me, guys. Thank you guys so much. You guys are the best. Without you guys, I wouldn't be here. And I just want you guys to know that you guys are amazing. You guys keep on tuning into my videos. You guys keep on showing me support and uh, stuff like that. And I just want you to guys to keep following me all the way because it means a lot to me. Thank you guys so much for 400 subscribers. But anyway, now it's, let's get into my movie review. Back to the Future. Back to the Future is one of my all-time favorite films. And just so you know, if you guys are some of my new subscribers, you would you will not know, you may not know that the poster directly behind me is Back to the Future. I adore this I adore this movie. This is one of my all-time favorite films. It really is. And I also love like time travel movies and stuff like that. They really are great. And some movies that have a little story behind time travel. Some of my favorite time tra travel films of all time include The Time Machine, Meet the Robinsons, Mr. Peabody and Sherman, The Terminator, and the li li list really goes on and stuff like that. I really do like time travel films. They really are something, especially for sci-fi, the sci-fi genre and stuff like that. And I always imagine how it would be to time travel. And the story around Back to the Future revolves around a boy named Marty McFly, played by Michael J. Fox. He, as soon as he finds out that his um, doctor, um, Emmett Brown, who's played by a very talented actor known as Christopher Lloyd, he basically creates this time machine and stuff like that. And what ends up happening is, um, basically, um, Mr. Emmett Brown gets later on, and, like, af not after too long ago, after he shows him the time machine, he gets apparently shot by terrorists and killed. And, um, Marty accidentally ends himself in the past, um, during the 1950s and stuff like that, where his mother is in her high school years and stuff like that, and then, um, Dr. Emmett Brown is a little younger, slightly, and then Marty finds Dr. Emmett and has to try to get, um, Marty, and he has to, he needs help from Dr. Emmett to try to get his mom to get in a relationship with this guy so Marty can exist in the future. While all, while also trying, Mar and while also helping Marty get back home to the future. Back to the Future is one of my all-time favorite movies. There is no question about this film. This movie looks spectacular from visual effects to special effects. Everything in this movie is on point. The characters are amazing. The story is so beautifully written. And everything about this movie just feels magical and amazing. And it has so much great science fiction and adventure thrown into it. This movie also has a great sense of science fiction and stuff like that. Like I mentioned, an adventure. And it gets extremely fun and it keeps its comedy to a really great level in this movie. I swear to you, there is a lot of great comedy in this movie. And there are some laughs that you'll get a kick out of this movie. This movie is just a blast to watch. Marty McFly is a very interesting teenager, and you can uh, tell that he's somewhat of, as a, of he's somewhat as a curious kid and stuff like that, and a teenager and stuff like that. And as soon as he's sent to the past, he basically needs help from Emmett Brown because all of this can can affect his entire life if he doesn't get back home to the future. And speaking of which, Christopher Lloyd is absolutely terrific in this movie. Love the actor, such an amazing actor. And Anastasia, who framed Roger Rabbit, Angels in the Outfield. The guy's got talent, he really does. And his performance in this movie is so great. It's realistic and stuff like that. It keeps it, everything in this movie keeps everything at realistic. There's nothing that really feels too much sci-fi goofy and stuff like that. It gives... This movie delivers what every sci-fi movie and time travel movie should deliver. Some of the best parts about this movie is when are when Marty and Dr. Emmett Brown are trying to team up together so Marty can get back home to the future. And all of these scenes that you're watching them like teamwork and, and team build with each other and stuff like that in order for Marty's mother to get 
in a relationship with this certain guy, which apparently turns out to be his father. These are the moments that hook you into the story, and it just absolutely pins you to your seat. And because of the fantastic writing in this film, and the relationship between every single character that's brought into this film, you can relate to every single character that's in this film. Whether if it's in the present day or the past, where the entire movie takes place, you can relate to every single character that's in this film. And another thing that makes Back to the Future so special special is its incredible sense of humor. This movie has humor, and it does not go way too overboard with it. It knows when it has to use humor in some certain scenes, whether if it's taking place in, like, maybe a school in the past or something like that, or some other place um, during the, in, when, it's, when the movie's taking place in the 50s and stuff like that. When Marty is in the past and uh, stuff like that. This movie knows how to use humor and stuff like that. It really does. It, it really does. It cleverly uses the humor at a perfectly paced level. It doesn't go too overboard with it. And if it did, I think it wouldn't, it wouldn't really work for the movie. But thank God it didn't. Back to the Future also has a great sense of realism, especially when there's science fiction thrown into this film. Whether if it takes place in the present day... And when it takes place in the 50s and stuff like that, it it feels like you're actually living in the 50s and stuff like that. It doesn't feel like anything else completely at all. It actually feels like Marty is in a totally different timeline and he has to get back home to the future. It feels like he's adventuring through the 1950s and stuff like that. And the thing that I love about Back to the Future is that the entire past events in this movie affect Marty and stuff and it just gives you an anxiety and stuff like that and because of the fan because of how fantastically well made how made this movie is there was never a part in this movie that lagged never everything was always happening in this film and I appreciated that and there are a lot of moments in Back to the Future that you just can't step away from, no matter how fictional it is. No matter how fictional it is, you can look at something that will happen in Back to the Future and you can be like, wow, that's awesome. I mean, that wouldn't happen in real life, but that's awesome. And this is one of the very few time travel films that actually succeed on doing that. Back to the Future is one of my all-time favorite movies. It's such a great... Um, flick and sci-fi adventure film and it's absolutely a standout classic in so many levels and if you haven't seen this film yet you are sitting in your past and you need to head back to your future right now back to the future gets an a plus thank you guys so much for watching this. It means a lot to me. I wanted to do a movie review of this because it's one of my all-time favorites and for my 400 subscribers special, I wanted to review a special movie. I, I thought of it too. What movie should I review for my 400 subscriber special? I chose Back to the Future. So yeah, I reviewed it and thank you guys so much for getting me up to 400 subscribers. Love every single one of you. You guys are the best. You guys keep on showing me support to my channel and thank you guys so much for watching all my content and my movie reviews and stuff like that. Thank you guys also for watching this movie review of Back to the Future. You guys are the best. Love every single one of you. Look forward to more content that I'll be making and uh, stuff like that. And more movie reviews. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Always. And as always, I am MarioFan520 and I will see you next time. Peace out.